How you doing, everybody? This is here, Yaakov here with a beautiful idea. In the middle of this beautiful idea, may everybody see the unity in all divisions. Okie dokie, here we go. Okay. Um, so this topic actually has, has many sources. And uh, more sources that I'll maybe in a di different video I'll, I could bring up. But uh, the purpose of this is that is exactly like the blessing that I gave. Um, there are many things in this life, actually since we've been born, that uh, you know, the idea of wisdom and understanding, knowledge, has to do with understanding details, specific things, individual details from the many details, and. Uh, and realizing how everything starts with one because the truth is like we're taking many individual want uh, um, individual details and putting them together and we create some bigger pictures like so even though we we take one detail first we learn one detail then another detail then another detail at the end of the day we're taking it and it's helping us create one picture on how we're seeing something, even if it's complicated. So, just for instance, I'll show you how Hashem works. Um, before creation, everything was one. After creation, you see uh, there's something called you and me, and your mom and my mom, and my dad and your dad, and your friend and my friend, and your phone and my phone. There's a lot of divisions. Those are like you know that 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 it came from one, one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one, equals many equals seven equals six equals ten equals twenty, right? But each individual, on its own, is one. And it represents the fact that it came from one. And I'll and, and I'll and I'll bring it even further, the idea. That, you go to a store. You purchase, let's say, a bottle of milk. You buy. Uh, you 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 buy a bottle of milk, and that one bottle of milk is enough to fill up. I don't know, ten, twelve, ten glasses of milk, right? From that one bottle, you were able, from its one contents, you were able to fill up ten cups, from that one. You go to a you go to a, a uh, you go to a a uh, a car dealership. One instance, you purchase a car. From that one instance, purchasing a car, every day, you are now able to utilize that car and to be able to go from point A to point B, run errands, take pick your kids up, pick your wife up, pick pick your husband up, uh, pick your friends up, drop things off. Those are many, many different things that you can do, all from one thing, one purchase, one decision. And these are, these are all different things in our life that are always pointing to the unity amongst the divisions. That even though we know, let's say, there's arguments in a house, arguments in the world, polit politics, we see politics that are going on, crazy politics that are going on in the world. And from all these politics, people have different opinions. But it all came from one specific opinion to strive to make things better, to strive to make the world or the country into a better place. The divisions are how on how my opinion or how this person's opinion is going to make the world a better place or that country a better place or this person's opinion is going to make that country a better place. But everybody's really, in essence... Everybody has this innate desire for this unity, for this. It all leads back to this one thing that people are searching for this one. And when you simplify it, when you simplify, you take situations and you simplify, you bring it back to one, and you're able to see really how everything's from Hashem, even if a person's going through a lot of problems in their life. They see, you know how many problems I went through? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just in this year, a person says they just went through ten problems that are huge in this year alone, right? 
but this year we find at the beginning of the year Rosh Hashanah is the beginning of the year is Rosh Hashanah of the new year and uh, it's not actually just it's actually just not not Rosh Hashanah is not just the new year for for Jewish people actually the Jewish people celebrate Rosh Hashanah it's the day where actually where all of creation is judged on that day for the whole year so um so basically from this one day comes the judgments whatever is going to happen the whole year and when you take it back to one you start to realize that it's all coming from this one day it's all coming from this one god it's all coming from this one from this one place and you start to realize start to recognize start to start to start to question in a good way okay is this is it, is it a good thing is it a you know, you 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 start to start to realize because these are a lot of hard situations, but there are a lot of good things that are coming from one. There's so many good things. There are hard situations that are coming from one that are seemingly not obvious that they're good at all. And there are things that seem very good that you know that we that we can say that you know that's well, really good. Um, so we really have to, and even those things, if you take wow, oh, those these good situations and these situations that seem really bad, that seem obviously bad, so. These are also divisions, different opinions, different ways of looking at things. It's not all the time, actually, that every good decision, every good thing that we thought was good, actually leads every single time and yields a positive outcome at the end. And it's not every time that every bad thing that we're going through, all the hard things that we're going through, is leading a bad outcome at the end as well. So sometimes we're very, very short-sighted. Not sometimes. A lot of times we're very short-sighted and seeing and that being able to evaluate the divisions the things that the multiplicity in life the the difficulties plural because it's divisions the many different things that we're going through in our life but when we, we, we when we learn to take it back to one back to Hashem and back to its source we start to realize I bought this car the person says I did all this kindness with this car then they, then they got into a car crash. It all stems back from the time that they bought the car. All the good things, all the good things stem from the time that they bought the car, and all the things that are were really hard. What happened with the car, are stem from the time they bought the car. So what? Which is it? Is it good? Or is it bad? Our job is not to not to evaluate. Don't judge and say what's good or bad, and just give it over to the one. Bring it to one. Bring it to Hashem. When you're able to bring it to Hashem, you say, "Listen, Hashem guided me to get this car. He went. He took me to this. He took me to the dealership. He helped me go through the situation. Helped me get the car, and I got it in a kosher way. It was everything was good. I, everything was good at the end of the day regarding that car on that day. It helped me do a lot of great things. Should a person regret getting the car? Should a person regret because their life because of the bad things that have happened? The truth is, we don't really know." that those things are bad. But we do know one thing, that Hashem is only guiding us in a positive way. He's only treating us in the in a very, very good way that's be only beneficial for us to wake up from our slumber, to for us to see that really He's behind everything, that amongst all of the, the divisions, all of the things in life that seem so difficult and complicated, complex, and so many details, really... There is one detail that's before all the other details, and that's Hashem. And this was actually the main argument. Um, we'll go back to over here. The main, the main, uh, I would say argument. The main uh, differences between Esav and Yaakov Avinu and uh, and Jacob the forefather. Esav actually also is also an aspect of a forefather as well, coming from Avram and Yitzchak. Esav. Actually, he, he despised the, the the rights of the he despised the firstborn, um, and Yaakov Avinu, he was willing to to sell, uh, to be able to purchase this firstborn. He really wanted it, and explaining what the firstborn rights are, the really the firstborn rights again in a different in a different uh, video we said Rishit Chachma, Rishit is means the beginning, Rishit is the beginning. Is chachma, is wisdom. So, what's the rights of the firstborn? The beginning is the first. What's first? Wisdom. So, the really the rights of the firstborn really represent wisdom. What's the wisdom? What's the wisdom? 
and it says Esav despised the right. He despised the firstborn, being uh, what's first. He despised wisdom, but we find he was a he was a he was a man in the field, different a different kind of person, and we find and we find uh, also that uh, that he ended up did selling it, and he was actually angry. He was sold his rights of the firstborn to ya to Yaakov. How can you really sell the rights of your firstborn? What was it that he was selling? And how could he do that? And how could he be so angry? Because really it was the blessing from Yitzchak that also he was selling as well. And what is really the essence of this firstborn? What is the essence of the rights of the firstborn? The rights to wisdom. What is wisdom? That we know there are two ideas. You have a fruit and there's a shell before the fruit. And according to the shell before the fruit, okay, the shell comes before the fruit. We know. Then the fruit. So Esau said, Esau saying, listen, I came out first. I'm firstborn. You came out afterwards. You're the fruit. Okay? The shell always comes, comes before the fruit. But Yaakov, you know, knew, knew, knew greater than this. Physically, you were born before me. You were born before me. But the rights of this firstborn, the rights of the firstborn that has, that's, that's heir to Yitzchak, that's to the, to the path of Yitzchak, is not about who's physically first. It's about Hashem is first. There are divisions in this world. And when you are, get lost in the divisions of the world, so you, it's very difficult to see Hashem because, because you're getting caught in the details. But the big picture is one picture, is that Hashem is in control of it all. And when you can take everything back to that, you start to see a more beautiful world. You start to see, yeah, there are things that are hard that happen. Yeah, there are difficult things that happen. But you know what? It's all from Hashem. And when you start to recognize and start questioning in a positive way, who is this? And yearning and wanting to know real answers. Who is this one that's in control of all the good and all the seemingly bad? Who is the one who, who is in control of it? You'll start to recognize that things are only going in a positive place. And you start to, you start to recognize the hope that's found in every situation because God is in every situation. And that's the wisdom. To seek the wisdom in every situation is to seek God in every situation. Amongst all the multiplicity, all the divisions, when, you, when you're looking for God, when you're looking to see the wisdom in the situation and look, literally look back, dig deeper into what's really going on and don't get caught up by all the superficial details, you'll start to see, and honestly you're looking, you'll start to see, Hashem is benefiting you. He wants to teach you something. And that's the wisdom in every situation, whether it's seemingly good or otherwise. I had a, I had a day, actually. I, 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 I work in sales uh, in Israel. I had a day about a week ago. I had a, it was a great day for me. But at the same time, I got upset at somebody. And I was trying to, and, and I, got upset, I got upset at somebody who I was personally was trying to help. And they were not listening in any way, and they were just talking over me, and I was just so upset. And I realized, even though it was a great day, meaning even though it was obvious great day, that that I did well that day, very very well that day. However, but because of this specific thing, I realized my test, the the whole day wasn't just boiled down to the this great great events that that took place that I was able to that God helped me with okay but on top of that I had this thing I had this test and really the whole day was really mainly about this test to recognize okay so you had a great day but were you able to see the 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 wisdom in the situation to see okay things were so great but did it affect you to have a positive outlook did it affect you to be in control of yourself and your uh, the fact that you were so upset did it affect you no so then even though, even if a person fell, even if a person got caught up in the divisions and the, in the, in the, the, the foolish things in life, if you're able to still penetrate into that day and to be able to ask for forgiveness and to be able to go further and go, get up and be able to, to see really what God wants to show you, which is the good in the situation, how you can grow and how you can learn, now you can move forward. So then you've won. You found the one. And you're able to get out of all these situations and you're able to also be happy to be who you are and also to be happy that you that you found the messages that God is 
hinting and trying to send to you. May everybody merit to see all the hints that God's trying to show us, to show, to see the wisdom in the situation, to be the firstborn. That's really what it means to be firstborn. And to always put, it's to put Hashem first. It's to see that amongst all the divisions in life, Hashem is there. And He's, and he's one, He's simple, ultimately, and unique. And he wants, to, he wants to show us also that we're unique and that we can be, we can, we're created in His image and we, and we can be like Him. We can, be, we can also have His, we can also be merciful. We can also, we can also do beautiful things. And thank God we have righteous people in the generation. We have people um, that are willing to, to help us, to teach us, be able to, to spread light and to also to be able to con help us continue growing and to help other people. May everybody merit to be like them, to be like God as much as we can, and to help others, and to also to be able to help our families and ourselves. And realize, as long as we want to grow, as long as we want to grow and help, our, help each other, it's, not, it's, it's never a bad thing. It's only positive. It's only good. Don't get caught up in the divisions. Look for the one. Have a great day. Have a great life. Enjoy. Be sweet.